Alrighty guys, yeah, so going to go ahead and say there is going to be a pretty sure there's going to be a watermark right here, so try and ignore that as much as possible, if it's there, I don't know if it is going to be there or not, but so, we're going to be ranking all of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, starting from the, the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and sort these, Okay, actually, no, I'm not going to sort them. I'm just going to go from, like, you know, Roderick Rules, Last Straw, and then where's Dog Day? Last Straw, you go right here, Dog Days. I'm not going to sort all of them, but I'm going to sort them from what way I know. Which is up to here, and then Cabin Fever. So that's going to be where we're going to go off them. So number one. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the original. Now, in my honest opinion, I have no problem with this book. This book started out the series. It's a classic. A, cl a classic. It's definitely a classic. Roderick Rules goes in front. Uh, no. You go in the back. You go in the front. Roderick Rules, best out of them all. Perfecto. Jeff Kinney, you got it on this one. Next, The Last Straw, in my personal opinion, this book was good, I liked the book, but it's not a classic, I would say that it's decent, hold on, I'm gonna put it down here and I'm gonna scroll up, uh, it was definitely fun, it was, it was good. Next, Dive for Wimpy Kid Dog Days, straight up, perfectly done, gets in front of Dive for Wimpy Kid the original. Right next, gets nuzzled right between Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days, and, no, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, uh, <sighs> Roger Rules. Anyway, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Ugly Truth. This one, in my personal opinion, for a few years, I didn't even know The Ugly Truth existed. I really thought that the, uh, cap that Cabin Fever, I don't know if it was, but I think, I thought Cabin Fever was, like, the one, I, I didn't even know the Ugly Truth existed, so, it's, it's good enough, I didn't even know it existed for a few years, anyway, Diary of Wimpy Kid Cabin Fever, it doesn't go into A tier, it doesn't mean, doesn't go into classic, no, no, it's not, not ready yet, it's the fun, it's fun tier, that's about it, Diary of Wimpy Kid Big Shot, not ready yet. Actually, no, 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 no. It's actually good enough. No, I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna put it up with fun, because Jeff Kinney actually brought back the kind of fun type thing that they had in the books, like in the original, like Dog, uh, Dog Days, Diary Wimpy Kid, Diary Wimpy Kid, Last Straw. You know, I though they brought back some of the good memories. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, awesome, not Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Diary of an Awesome Friend. Friendly Adventure. I bought this book a few like days after it came out. I didn't. I'm not. I've not even finished the book because of how like lackluster it was. Like it's all over the place. It's kind of crazy. Very disappointing. Now Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I mean not Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid. Now, in my personal opinion, this book was good. It's not the best, it needs some work, but it's fun. Next, Diary of a Wimpy Kid spook uh, Spooky Stories. Should I really put it there or should I put it there? I'm going to put it right here. Because uh, in the reason I think it was disappointing was because of how, like, the way it was. Because it was Diary of a Wimpy Kid, like, it was like, no, not it was Rowley telling spooky stories. And the thing was that this book barely was based on Rowley, actually. It was just Greg came in halfway through and was like Greg Heffley's journal or something. So while these two actually more focused on Rowley and Greg, like relationship, they were both very disappointing with how they came out. Dive Women Kid Deepen. Do I really have to say anything about this one? This one kind of sucks. I'm not, because it's just another road trip. We've had so many road trips at this point that it's, 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 ugh, I hate it. 
Next is a Diary of Wimpy Kid Do-It-Yourself book. I'm gonna put it up here at the decent enough. It's not disappointing. Uh, it's decent. I mean, it's got a good concept, but it didn't come out quite yet. Diary of Wimpy Kid Double Down. All over the place. Don't need any more context. Let's move on. The Getaway. Yeah. Yeah, I know what people are going to say. Getaway was good. I know some people who said Getaway is good. The Getaway, in my personal opinion, again, I don't like it. It's another road trip, just like the long haul, and uh, just like the the deep end. Like, it's, I don't like it. Dive Wimpy get hard look. Now, uh, yeah, Dive Wimpy get hard look, in my opinion, again. I need to stop saying that, but Hard Luck was okay. I'm not going to say it was the best. I mean, it's decent. That's what I'll put it. Diary of Wimpy Kid Long Haul. Now, this was the first road trip. Now, a lot of people are saying Long Haul is the worst one because it's a road trip one. But it's actually the one that started the whole road trip thing. And while it... Well, some people do say it's all over the place. I kind of like uh, Dive Wimpy Kid, uh, you know, long haul, the book, not the movie. We don't talk about the movie here. Anyway, Dive Wimpy Kid Meltdown. <sighs> okay, hold on. I gotta put this right here. That I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, you better insult Meltdown. No. Great concept. I loved the ending. I loved the entire thing. It was amazing. Changed my mind. Next, Diary, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Movie Diary. It was okay. It w I've, personally, I do not think that the book was great. I would say it's not ready yet. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Movie, I'm just going to put that right there. Now we're, but we're on to the last three. Ugh. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Old School. Now, just like The Ugly Truth... I didn't know this book existed for a while, and whenever I first, like, saw the cover, I was like, oh, this must be, like, a fan cover. No, it's an actual book. Like, that was how much I didn't know this book existed. Now, the book all together was okay, so I'm gonna put it in decent enough. I have a Wimpy Kid third wheel. It goes, it goes down to, uh, let's, it goes down does actually it's not fun it's it's more of disappointing you got you get to smuggle in there with uh, the two rally books the reason i say this because a lot of people are going to be like oh my gosh you just insulted their third wheel is for one reason it's like the concept of dating to rap to uh it's more focused on like rally and greg because there's a lot more rally in this book and that's good for Rowley and I guess Greg. But it's good to see Rowley in the book. But the way, like, Greg just is a douchebag in this book altogether. Like, we all know that Greg's basically a douchebag in every book. But he's a, he's a double douchebag in this book. And finally, Diary of a Wimpy Kid Wrecking Ball. A lot of people say that they liked this book. I don't like it. I personally, again, I don't like it. Now, you can say what you want about my ranking. I mean, I would not like it if you disliked it. I mean, I'd be okay if you like it and subscribe you. Do not take this as, like, me insulting the books. I've read all the books, and I've had the same opinion on them, that they're good. But, like, I've actually dug into some of them. So, if your book is not good on this list, like Double Down, Getaway, Wrecking Ball. So, basically, if there's anything below disappointing of which one of these is your favorite books, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not going to say that my ranking is correct and that you should just shove, that I should just shove my opinion down your throat. Because I'm not. But this is my personal ranking. Now, y'all can go ahead and make a personal ranking, too. The reason I give these so high is because most of these are classics. Meltdown just smoked in there because I liked it. Next, of course, like, fun. All these, decent enough. Disappointing? Yeah, some of these were good. Some of these were bad. I'm not going to say these were great. 
I mean, every single book, in my opinion, after reading it, like, some of them are more or less realistic. Like, the first four or five books are more of, like, a you can relate to. But after that, it doesn't become very realistic, which is why you can see, like, some of the, like, newer books are rated lower. Like, as you can see, like... There's a few, you know, older books, like Long Haul on here, and Awesome Friendly Kid. But most of the time, some of the newer books are less ranked, because that they got way too much action in them for it to be relation to a middle schooler. But anyway, that was my ranking. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.